Well, my name's Peter Caddick. Uh, I've been a physiotherapist for, gee, too many years and <laughs> I choose to remember. You're actually making a difference to people's lives and sometimes quite significant differences. I would have been working for Queensland Health largely in heart transplants, heart failure and things like that. Behind, I lost my voice. We lost a lot of the people who were actually providing uh, assessments in the home to make sure the people stayed out of hospital. I don't know what's happened to those people. I don't know what's happened to the, to, to, to the service and I don't know what's happened to the staff. You hear announcements about waiting lists uh, being, uh, being shortened. You also hear people being offered surgeries on the Friday, if they don't hear back from them on the Monday, then they go off the list. The people are scared. They're, they're scared for their own jobs. They're doing what they can with less resources. Having appropriate services in the community is vital for, 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 for basic human dignity. It's not something that you can make a profit from. If people aren't something that you can make a profit from, it's a right. You had a health system where you had wonderful experts, you had people who cared and people who were, who, who were, who were moving towards, um, towards making things better. Why haven't you listened to them? Really saddened by what has happened to people within Queensland Health. To be able to provide care to others, you have to care for yourselves and care for each other. How it's been handled in history will be judged very poorly because I don't think we cared enough.